Geeks, what is going on? UTC here, giving a little bit of a shifty look to Dr. Omari. She's trying to get me to sit in this chair and enter Kellogg's memories via Nick's robot brain. I said I wasn't ready, but uh, I don't know what else there is to wait for. Dr. Omari? Dr. Omari? Omari? We can't get to the memories in that implant. There's a lock. Yeah, I know. L uh, is there a way to Tell break it? Have a way past this, Doc. I Let already asked think. her this. We load, he'll act as yeah. a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's All do right. this thing. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Oh my Maybe god. On the other side. Nick. Nick. You ready for this? He's ready for it. I guess I am too. Memory lounger. If this is the best way to find Sean, let's do it. Please stand by. Um. Initiating brainwave migration between Good. the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. Do it. It might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay, we are about to enter a dream world. A very strange place. We're going to be inside the mind of a merc ah, good. with computers in. The simulation in. appears to be working, although the memories oh, are quite fragmented. Weird. I'll try to step you through the intact memories. These are synapses. Hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Wow, I don't even know what's happening around me. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. What is? Where? Remember, oh, look at you it. You are experiencing look. these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. I don't know why Mom was with him. Oh, God. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mom? Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Oh no, don't make me... Don't make me have compassion for this SOB. I already oh, nuked him. A dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. Hmm. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. NCR? But really... He came from out west. I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from dad. Dudes from... It doesn't matter now, though. Dudes from Nevada or Cali. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. Connie. You take this. You're old enough. That's his gun. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. 
Huh. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. A little bit of clumsy exposition there. We'll let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Where? There. Try that one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, I didn't... It took me a while to figure this out, guys. We're walking on synapses, I guess, from memory to memory. This is some kind of kitchen. Is he a young man here? That's a hell of a nice outfit. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. Me. But we don't know anybody here. And now with Sarah. the baby. Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. Oh my god. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I I'm just are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. Huh. And little Mary, too. Mary? I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Huh. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen. It's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. Oh, right. I promise. That is his I 44. Know. I got it in my cabinet sure at we're home. Gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. Okay, guys. That's okay. I got her. Who is Let's Sarah? No. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay. Okay. I guess that was too brief. Dude's got a son. He's got a wife. Or a daughter and a wife. Feels a little too familiar. Keep looking. Keep send me on this path. I see another memory. Let's boogie. Let's Let's go. Oh, this is a cloudy haze. This is him doing security. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? What kind of gun is that? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you oh. weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Oh, worse. Oh, don't make me sympathize for this son of a bitch. I already nuked him. I nuked him, and now I'm exploring his dead brain matter with some kind of memory lounger and a synth palamine. I, uh, this is a neat little sequence, guys. That is Kellogg's wife? No? That's Kellogg, right there. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Who are these guys, Wastelander? Let's figure out who he is. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. I just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. Okay, let's get One on with this memory. Another. Let's get on with it. What is that? Is that the sign? So, oh. um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. 
There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. What? Well, we seem to be getting closer. Dude's That's already killing one. families. He's already killing whole families. They live down the creek away. Dude, okay, dude has gone from loving father at some point to horrible family killing mercenary. No sympathy here. Where are we now? Those are synth. This is him at the Institute. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. Who? We Tell me everything you know about you this. See. Okay. What do you want? Tell you me know about all it. sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. No. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths. For the everything. surface. They're underground. They had the resources I needed. They are underground. And I had the expertise in a vault. I bet. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. Hmm. It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? Paying me more. I'm working for you. There's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Yeah, dude knows how to fight. Not much a fat man will do against that kind. Impressive. I mean, have a fat man does a lot all. against that. Getting warmer. One of these is got to tell warmer. us something. So dude can kill synths easy peasy. So what? So can I. I killed a bunch of them. Ah, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Where? Connecting now. Connect it. Oh, okay. 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 This is a cool cool situation i don't oh oh god we're in the vault that's the vault those are the chambers those are the frozen chambers who tell me big heads never like taking orders from a dirty contaminated degenerate like me but they needed me is that my wife i made sure they knew it cryopod Oh! Vault computers are still working. That's good. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... I never liked to. Backup. The backup. Yeah. I guess it did remind me of, uh, her. Yeah, of... Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh... I'm still human. Oh, we'll see about that. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. What? Checking through the logs. No. Tell me Even about then, me. I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. How? No one better. How'd I even see it? But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Are these the carbuncles? If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Damn right. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Damn right Fossey they won't. Six, down the hall near the end. I found another intact memory. I ain't, I ain't ready to leave yet, Dr. Amari. Show me what's going down here. Who? Who is this? Big heads never... I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. Yeah. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course. Neither did they. Not really. What the hell does that mean? This is the one. Here. 
What the hell does that mean? Who is my son? Open it. The, the last person, I don't know. Who could he be? <laughs> I, I'm, over? I'm the backup for my son. The last male okay? not Almost. born after the bombs fell. Everything's going to be fine. Or, last male born before the bombs fell. It's him and it's Come me. On, Maybe that's me. it. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. Come on. I'm only going to tell you once. Come on! I'll tear your face off! Don't make me watch it again. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we're good. This is the guy. This might have been the guy. That guy might have programmed me to escape. Okay, the memory's now empty. It's gone. Everybody's gone from it. Okay. Okay. Here he is, alone in his apartment. Guys, that's Sean. That's Sean, and he's not a baby. I was right. He's a ginger. Is that your son? My son's a ginger. This appears to be a very recent memory. Oh my god. So, wasn't my idea news, to I settle think. down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Who's the old man? Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. The old man? Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Huh. Let's play this thing out. Piper. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying she's right, but Mayor, you can own... Oh, guys, this is like a week before we get to Diamond City. Piper's already written the story about the mayor. Kellogg. Who it's okay. are you, you son of a bitch? One of these days, you're going to get your head blown off just barging in here like that. I'm a, I'm a do it. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said. What the hell the is a courser? Since could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. He blends in all right. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. Dr. Brian we Virgil. He's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. What the hell's the glowing sea? I did well, see a thing about the glowing sea. Some heads are gonna roll for this. That's where the radiation storms Capture come from. Turn or just elimination? Elimination. Elimination. He was on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? He remembers yes. me? Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. No, no, no. Don't do it, Sean. D don't do it. Wow, well, okay. <gasps> X680. They're gonna teleport. Ready to relay with Sean. 
Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Two to beam up. Is that... Oh, my God! Bye. They have Star Trek transporter technology. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Oh, Nobody's found God. Nobody's entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. It's... Let me pull you out of this. Get me the hell out of here and let's hit the road. Go. Let's go. Pull me out. How do I get out? Where's the path out? I have to take the path? How do you pull me out of here? Do I have to go back? Crying. Okay, here we go. Here's how I get out. Please stand by. Oh, God. Oh, God. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. Where's no Nick? One's ever done this before. Nick? How do you feel? Nick? Guys, the game's been pretty glitchy, so I'm not sure if this is supposed to happen. How do I feel? Dr. Romari. Let's start over. How are you feeling? I, f I feel fine. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Um. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. W Virgil, th that scientist who escaped. That's the best lead. I didn't lead. know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Damn right he could. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Oh, oh, Kellogg, when he said we're going after the, the rogue, he wasn't talking about me. That's why he's there, to make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Damn, we're right Don't worry. Away. Good luck. And power armor. By and the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. Okay. He's waiting for you upstairs. Upstairs? In the brothel? Okay, we might as well take everything we can get here if she's just going to let us have free reign. That's as long as you're carrying it. Shut it, Nick. You're upstairs and you're still hassling me? Got anything good over here, Doctor? Bone cutter. Cool. Um, so guys, we're headed to the glowing sea. The glowing sea, which, as if I remember, is where all the radiation storms blow in from. It must be a part of the ocean where a nuke fell. Let's talk to Nick. Let's see what he's thinking. Where you at, buddy? Nick? Nicky V? Not hanging out with your lady friend? Oh, yes, you are. Hi, buddy. Who's this? Who's this clown? Some weirdo. Nick? What's Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. Oh, that weird. Right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Oh, God. What the hell was that? Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Oh, God. What did you say? What? What are you talking about? Ooh. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine. Pretty good so impression. Let's get going. Um. Hmm. There's something wrong with you, Nick. I don't want you with me. I told you I'm fine. But I get it. Going through Kellogg's brain was a doozy for both of us. I'll be in Diamond City when you've had time to cool off. That scared the hell out of me, guys. If he can talk, if Kellogg could talk through Nick, think what Kellogg could do through Nick. 
Uh, that scared the hell out of me, guys. Nick, if he can talk, if Kellogg can talk through Nick, what else could he do? Uh, we'll send Nick back to old DC for now. That's Diamond City. And uh, in the next episode, geeks, we will head off to the glowing sea. Maybe grab our power armor and a ton of Radex and Radaway. We'll head to that irradiated bit of ocean that may be hiding the last man, the only man, to leave the Institute and be alive right now. Kellogg obviously was there, but I blew him up. Virgil. I think his name was Brian Virgil. A doctor has escaped. He's gone rogue. Kellogg was sent to find him, but not before old UTC nuked that fool's brains. Geeks, thanks for checking out this episode and exploring Kellogg's memories with me. Hope you're loving the series. I'm going to keep the episodes coming every other day, uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with some Don't Starve. This is a brand new series on the channel. I'm excited. And if you guys don't know, this isn't regular old Don't Starve. This is the new DLC Shipwrecked.